Minutes with Three Down Nation, our first foray into video. Justin, you're looking pretty good over there. Appreciate it, Drew, but I'm not even sure if I'm looking at the real Mr. Edwards over there. Did you hibernate all winter away from the Three Down Nation readers and viewers and grow that thing out? You look like Santa Claus, for Christ's sakes. That's grumpy Santa to you, my friend. Speaking <laughs> of grumpy, Josiah St. John, first overall draft pick in the CFL, has demanded a trade from the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. What's going on in Saskatchewan? Well, interesting times in Ryderville, Drew. We're at the point now where it seems like there's a stalemate between Josiah and his camp and the Riders. The Riders held steadfast and said that if he didn't show up to training camp, they wouldn't offer more than the minimum salary, and they seem to be sticking to that. And now we see Josiah try to put some pressure back on the Riders by asking for a trade. Whether one happens is a whole other question, though, Drew. Yeah, I mean, I think it's very interesting, right? You, you see both sides using the media to try and apply pressure to each other, right? So I think the Riders are trying to apply pressure on St. John by talking to the media about the, what they've offered him and so on and so forth. I think you've seen, uh, you know, potentially the St. John camp try and add some pressure to the Riders by talking about not reporting, by talking about demanding a trade. It's the gamesmanship that goes on amongst uh, teams and draft picks St. John doesn't have a ton of leverage because obviously they control his rights, but at the same time, you know, I think he would like to be paid along the same lines as what the, the top picks got last year, particularly Suk Chung and Alex Mateus, and, and that doesn't appear to be at this point what the Riders are willing to offer, and that's a big change. No, and you can see both sides of this, Drew, from St. John's side. You can say, well, I'm the number one pick. I want to be paid at least what the number one pick in 2015 was. And you can also see the rider's side, too. They want to correct a market that they believe got too far ahead of itself and was paying first-round picks and you know top picks a lot more than they felt was fair and was paying them in the bracket that a lot of veteran players are being paid, proven players in this league. So... Both sides have definitely valued, valid arguments in this debate. Well, and what's interesting, if you look at the personalities here, Justin, is you've got you know John Murphy and Chris Jones, the new regime in Saskatchewan. You know jo John Murphy earned a reputation in Calgary as being a very tough negotiator. They were reluctant to pay their free agents and guys come, you know, big money because they felt they could develop talent behind them. And Jonathan Hardaway, the agent for Josiah St. John, has a reputation around the league as being a guy that's very tough to deal with, fights very hard for his clients. So, uh, you know, there's some personality at play here as well, right? So just like there's a little friction between you and I from time to time, I think there's a little <laughs> friction between Hardaway and the Riders right now. <laughs>